guys and welcome it's Niran here and today it is time for episode number one of our FIFA 15 West Ham United career mode and that's going to take some time to get used to that obviously for two seasons now I've been doing an Aston Villa career mode uh, but I put the guy put the vote sorry to you guys and you guys really did want me to join West Ham I got double the votes for any from above anyone else for West Ham so you guys definitely wanted that um, so I'm pretty happy to join West Ham actually, I really quite like the squad uh, they've got at the moment, they've made some good new signings recently as well, they've done some of the work for me like Zarate, Valencia, Alex Song as well, so I'm really looking forward to playing with some of those guys. One thing I'm not entirely sure of is a formation that will get them all playing together, so I don't know how I'm quite going to do that, maybe you guys could suggest that in the comments section, because this is another thing for any new viewers, I really like to have an input from you guys, because obviously I'm trying to, to make a video for you, so I want you to be happy with what I'm doing. Uh, so if there's any transfers that you want me to do, uh, anyone you want me to sell, or any way you want me to play, feel free to leave in the comments section and I will look for it. But as you can see now, it's time to see the board's objectives in the cup. They want us to get into the last 16 of a domestic cup. Uh, just getting some needless transfer market information and introducing themselves. Uh, they're the scouts as well. But as you can see, uh, my assistant manager suggesting we'll need a fullback. Recollecting to the West Ham team, that probably makes a lot of sense. Aaron Cresswell and Guy Demella really the only fullbacks and Carl Jenkinson who's in on loan from Arsenal as you can see there Maro Zarate as well is uh, with a broken ankle at the moment is out uh, but he'll be apparently back for the uh, for the first game of the season supposedly and also getting our league objective which is pretty high actually the bar has been set pretty high by the board they're telling they're telling us sorry to get into the Europa League so that's gonna be quite difficult uh, quite an optimistic uh, objective but I like optimism from the board so that's pretty cool as you can see though here we're just introducing ourselves to the squad there Adrian in goal the goalkeeper there with Cresswell uh, Winston Reid Tompkins and Demel at the back and we've got Noble Alex Song Coyate and Downing there in midfield with Valencia and Saka up front we're playing the diamond formation at the moment, that's the default uh, formation and setting for West Ham. Uh, there's also people like Ma uh, Matthew Jarvis, uh, Andy Carroll and Kevin Nolan who are off the bench and on the reserves as well as uh, people like Juicy Askeline and the goalkeeper too. Uh, so there's a lot of depth actually in this squad already but in terms of the, t the players that I'm looking for, I'm pretty much looking for a defender, a fullback because I'm going to listen to my um, to my assistant manager on that one. Definitely two fullbacks, a centre-back, uh, maybe a midfielder as well, although they've already got quite a lot of depth in that central midfield role with Koyate, uh, Alex Song, uh, Kevin Nolan and Mark Noble already, as well as Ravel Morrison, who you can see there on the reserves too. So they're quite you know in-depth in terms of cent central midfielder, but I, I might want another winger too. And in terms of up front, we've also got Mario Zarate and Ene Valencia already, as well as Ricardo Vazte and Andy Carroll. So that might not be a position I really need. As you can see, I just played around with it here, but again, uh, feel free to leave uh, your suggestions for a formation and team and squad in the comments section as you can see there just played around with it a little bit brought in people like Ravel Morrison and took out Diafra Sacco up front uh, then it was time to set some instructions for our scouts as you can see there any position uh, promising players uh, a right back a centre back and a winger I might need to change that from right back to full back because I'm looking for both a right back and a left back at the moment and then it was time to send our scouts out to various countries to do those instructions for us and actually get those players for us uh, three of them are already sent out already which is a feature you'll notice about career mode is quite a lot of it's already set up for you from a previous manager so we sent that Swedish scout out there to France uh, as well as a scout in Italy Germany and England at the moment here are the players that I'm looking to sell though Carlton Cole Joey O'Brien Andy Carroll and Collins there are the guys who are transfer listed a lot of guys up for loan as well but don't uh, feel don't feel as if I'm not going to sell anyone else. If I get good offers for anyone else, I'm certainly open to, to offers for any player in the squad. Um, so 
Uh, just because those guys are transfer listed those doesn't mean they, they will be the only guys who are sold at all. So yeah, uh, as you can see here's an early sketch of my shortlist at the moment. Uh, you'll feel free to go and check that out again uh, if you missed it. But yeah, um, so that was that was an early sketch of the scout if you like. And we then got a pretty early offer actually from Southampton for James Collins. I put a counter offer back of 2.3 million because I know only some of the budget is actually or some of the transfer is actually given to you uh, in the budget allocation. So I'm trying to squeeze as much out of that deal as possible. Possible. And here is the first person we're looking at, Fauzi Goulam, the left back from Napoli, who's actually only recently signed from Saint Etienne, but the game hasn't registered that for some reason. Here's his competition in terms of fullback signing that's Atsuto Ochida, uh, the 26 year old from Schalke from Japan. Those guys looking quite cheap and looking quite good. As you can see there, Southampton matching that counter offer, they're going to go ahead and get him for 2.3 million. But here's a common theme Bilal Uld Sheik and also Yuri Tielemans are young players on this game who have a lot of potential. You'll see a video about that that I'm hoping to make as well. And they're wanting ridiculous amounts of money. And this is a common theme on this game. Don't be afraid to put in, you know, to, to haggle a lot with the AI. Because they put in ridiculous um, offers in terms of what they want for each player. As you can see, they're, they're getting two offers here for Andy Carroll. One from Hetafe in Spain and one there before that from St. Etienne uh, for the striker. I've decided obviously to put him uh, for sale. I hope you guys don't mind that. Any West Ham fans, I'm not entirely sure he's the most... Uh, the most well-respected and well-liked striker, but I don't feel as if I need him, even though he's the highest-rated uh, striker in the squad. Uh, player sold, that was James Collins, I do believe. I'm going to look really stupid if it wasn't, but I'm pretty sure it was. And we're also making a bid here for the Andalect player, Chancel Mbemba. Now, he reminds me, actually, of a player West Ham already bought, being Cheku Koyate. He's actually a lot like him. And we also made a bid for Samuel Umtiti, but that got rejected. Um... And we decided to put another bid in. We tried to go for a, a, a little sort of a trade offer. That got rejected. And then promptly the next offer got rejected of 5.7. So we decided to move it up to 7.2. Samuel and Titi there, 76 stat and 20 years of age. His value is only 3.3 million, but they want a lot more than that because he's got three years on his contract left. Um, so that was... That was um, that's not bad. He looks like a very good player with a lot of potential. But is this a glitch here? Laven Kazawa, who I know is only 74 stat, they want 21.4 million for a left back. Now, I don't know if that is a thing. As you can see there, I was just advancing a few days, just to show you guys that I was at advancing in time. I wasn't just doing this in one day. As you can see though, Atsuto Achida's uh, deal was rejected, or offer was rejected by Schalke. So we put in a new revised offer of three million pounds in for the Schalke right back, which seems like a bit of a snip, bit of a bargain for a player who I know is gonna be quite good. I think 74 stat and 26 years of age. Then putting in some loan offers there for Joel Campbell of Arsenal, Kurt Zuma of Chelsea, and Suso there, the Liverpool player as well, putting in those loan deals for those guys and yeah we'll see how those go uh, the AI were pretty bad when it came to loan offers if they weren't on the loan list so um yeah, so hopefully that's changed this year. Uh, we've actually sold Andy Carroll to St. Etienne for 5.7 million. Uh, not all of that was um, was allocated to us, but with the money, we're going to go out and buy Atsuto Uchida here and, of course, Samuel Umtiti. Both of those offers were accepted. Finally, finally, we had offers accepted there from uh, Schalke and uh, Leon, respectively. We then put an inquiry in for a young winger called Daniel Vass uh, from FC Evian. He looked quite good. And even a loan offer was accepted. It's all going our way at the moment. The Liverpool there accepting the loan offer uh, for Sousa. Then a player sold. That's Joey O'Brien there going to Burnley. I didn't go through the uh, negotiation process with that one. I just showed you guys at the end. Uh, but to end this uh, rather short episode of career mode, really, in comparison to usual, here's me just changing the budget allocation. We've actually got 20.6 million or 28.8 million uh, to our disposal with 120 grand's worth of wages. I'm just going to leave the revised shortlist on in the background whilst I'll tell you a little bit about this series and what's going to happen. Uh, this, this episode was just about meeting the team and the transfers. But next episode, I'm going to hopefully go into the friendlies. Uh, we'll sim two of them and play one unless you really want me uh, to play both. And uh, as I said before, uh, if you want me to sign any players uh, or if you want me to do anything about this series, feel free to leave in the comment section below. So as a text probably comes up now, feel free to leave comments of players that I should buy. Uh, of those three players, who should I go for being at Suto Achida? Uh, Samuel Mtiti and Suso, should I go for all three, should I go for none or two of the three or whatever, feel free to leave that in the comment section below and I'll read all those comments. Here you can see the negotiations, uh, just to clarify a rather confusing episode with full of transfers, but I hope you really enjoyed this first episode of Karimo, feel free to leave a like if you did, I would really appreciate a like and a comment uh, based on the transfers and players who I should buy. Feel free to subscribe if you're new around here as well, but I really hope you enjoyed this episode. It's been an absolute pleasure ranting you guys today. Have a good day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. No matter what you say, what you do, I'm alone.